presented by Exquisite Timepieces. More about them in the description down below and later in the video. This is the Grand Seiko SLGA008, and limited to just 140 pieces with a price of $49,000, it probably makes it the rarest and the most expensive Grand Seiko that I've ever done a review of. Now, I doubt that it's the most expensive Grand Seiko ever, or even the most limited, but it is definitely a watch with both quality and exclusivity in mind when it was created. The question is, is the watch worth it? Well, what watch over a few hundred dollars is ever really worth it? Watches are in general just a luxury item, at least in terms of being something that we don't really need for the necessities of life. It doesn't matter if we're talking about a Casio G-Shock under $100 or a watch costing five or even six figures. It's a luxury to have a watch at all. So from that perspective, a watch is worth what someone is willing to pay for it, and I have no doubt Grand Seiko will sell out of this limited edition quite easily, if they already haven't. All that said, this SLGA008 is an 18 karat rose gold Grand Seiko running the 9R series spring drive movement with a beautiful brown dial that Grand Seiko says reflects their concept of nature and time. Now I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to mean, but I will say that it's a really beautiful dial, and the color and the texture on the dial goes perfectly with the rose gold case and the brown crocodile leather strap. As far as the basic specifications go on this one, it comes in at 40 millimeters in case diameter with a lug to lug length of 47 millimeters. It's about 12.5 millimeters thick and it has a 22 millimeter wide lug spacing where the strap attaches to the case. I'd say that it's generally a good overall size with great proportions for most wrists. In fact, on my 6.5 inch wrist, I'd say that this one wears quite well. And surprisingly, I really do like the size. Now I say surprisingly because I usually will go for a smaller watch when they are in a dress watch style. But because of the brown dial and the warm tone of the rose gold, I think that this watch is a bit understated and it might present a bit smaller than the dimensions would suggest. Also at 47 millimeters lug to lug, it really doesn't even get close to testing the edges of my wrist. So I will say that the lug to lug length is one of the most underappreciated measurements. A few millimeters larger and a watch that is perfectly wearable can quickly become too large. Now something that I really like and that I find interesting on this one is the case finishing, but more specifically, it's the bezel finishing. First, as with all Grand Seikos, the brushing and the polishing is second to none. They do finishing as well as any brand that I've ever seen. And while this watch is quite expensive, they do offer that quality of finishing on some very affordable watches, relatively speaking. But the interesting thing about this one is the bezel finishing and specifically the face of the bezel. You might notice that the bezel edges are in a high polish and that the face has a coarse grain vertical brushing. It's much more typical to see the face of a bezel in a high polish, and I think that the brushed surfaces on this one have a nice change of pace and a subtle detail that I'd like to see more often. Now, of course, this has the Seiko Spring Drive movement, a movement that I'm personally a huge fan of. I love highly accurate watches, and the Spring Drive with its hybrid quartz system is super accurate, to the tune of about a half second per day. It also has an impressive 120 hour power reserve thanks to the dual barrel design and as we've started seeing more commonly, it features a power reserve indicator but it's visible through the case display back instead of being presented on the watch face. The brown crocodile leather strap with matching rose gold clasp is outstanding and thanks to a soft underside lining makes for a really comfortable package on the wrist. All that said, the real star of the show here is of course the dial. Now I haven't seen too many brown dials that I've really fallen in love with, so this is more of an exception than the rule for me, but I do think that it's a stunner. The dial texture gives me the impression of a cup of freshly made coffee with a bit of cream starting to mix in, giving you that wavy pattern from dark to light browns. The dial looks tasty enough to eat. The polished markers on the dial are beveled and faceted and the applied Grand Seiko logo looks perfect, even under a macro lens. But then that's really no surprise, is it? Grand Seiko tends to put in an extra level of care when it comes to those small details. The handset has a crisp beveled edge and smooth brushed finishing, and while I don't absolutely love the shape of the hour hand, it's nonetheless a masterpiece in terms of fit and finish. And the date complication is nicely framed in rose gold as well, and as you'd imagine, perfectly matches in the style and the quality of the rest of the watch. So I'm going to go back to that original question. Is this watch worth nearly $50,000? Well, of course it is, to the right person. It's exclusive, and it won't be a watch that everyone has because of the limited production. And if you can afford it, the price of anything really starts to become irrelevant if that's something that you want. And if you don't think that this watch is worth the price, look, that's okay too. I'm sure there are watches that you would be happy to buy that other people wouldn't think are worth having. It does work both ways. And there's plenty of people who think that a watch at any price isn't worth buying when you have a cell phone in your pocket that tells the time just as well. This video is presented in partnership with Exquisite Timepieces, located in Naples, Florida. 
Exquisite is an authorized dealer of dozens of watch brands, including Seiko and Grand Seiko, Omega, Oris, Blanc Pan, Breguet, and many more. Exquisite also has an amazing selection of pre-owned watches with new inventory coming in daily. So if you're looking for your next watch, check their website, exquisitetimepieces.com, or call their store at 239-227-2932, and let them know that you heard about them from Guy and the Just Blue Fish channel. I can't recommend them enough.